Hello again, friends. It's Carrie with Any Day Blessings, and today I'm going to share with you something I'm kind of mulling over in my mind about changing up our homeschool schedule from the traditional September to May schedule to the Sabbath method. Now, this wouldn't necessarily be a full year-round schooling schedule, but it would be closer to that. I'm going to let you know what I'm considering and why coming up. So first off, what is Sabbath schooling? Maybe you've never heard of this method before, and I really hadn't until, I hadn't heard of the title that that was what it was called until recently when a friend of mine asked me if I had ever considered it. And really all it is is six weeks on, one week off, six weeks on, one week off, pretty much all through the year. Now some people have it scheduled in a way where they can still take a bigger break, bigger than a one week break at Christmas, and a like a, a big break over the summer like they don't they don't continue the Sabbath schooling method over the summertime so there are ways that you can do it to still get the big break at Christmas and the big break in the summer but for the most part you would be just kind of continuing on that six weeks on one week off pattern throughout the year and that of course is based on the six days of work and the day of rest outlined in the Old Testament that's why it's called the Sabbath day schedule or the Sabbath week schedule I guess is what it's called so if you're not familiar with it, just go ahead and Google, even here on YouTube, there are other mamas who have done full explanations of it and how they schedule out their year. I'm not going to get into that in this video because again, I'm just considering it. I'm going to take our Christmas break to really think it through and see if it's something that would work for our family. Okay, so why am I considering this? What is going on? Why all these changes, Carrie? I feel like the last few weeks I've been coming at you with all sorts of different things that we've been changing and that's okay. I think this year really is bringing about a lot of changes for many homeschool families, certainly for many families who are used to sending their children to a brick and mortar school and they're in house schooling in the home. There's lots of changes going on for them, but I feel like even the homeschool community is really feeling the, the sense of change and things being different that we, we are considering going to a different schedule. And the, the main reason does have to do with just the way things are with the pandemic. Many of our activities are canceled and I feel like there, there is, hasn't been enough to kind of break up our school weeks and bring in some um, uh, downtime per se, uh, field trips, play dates with friends, you know, things that kind of were your carrot at the end of a week or in the middle of a week to kind of help you all stay motivated and wanting to press on. We've lost a lot of those things, just like many other families that, you know, weren't homeschooling before. We've lost a lot of those things. And I haven't watched our governor's announcement, but I feel like we probably have lost more today. And I'm really wishing I would have gone to the grocery store before today because people take everything. Anyway, <laughs> we are we are probably set up for losing more things. Let's just say that we are probably going to lose more things that we can go out and do. And so I think it would be helpful for all of us to stay motivated and not get the gloomies, you know, heading into winter if we kind of had a week off of school that I could spend that time looking for the fun, looking for the breaks in the monotony, looking for opportunities to serve others and minister to others, you know, just as a change of pace. So that's the main reason I'm considering switching to a Sabbath week method of, of homeschool versus the traditional, you know, just go through till spring break and then go through again till summer, you know. Um, I'm, I'm considering it this year. I think that this would be a good time to t kind of test it out because so many things are different. We don't have a lot of commitments and activities going on. Like I said, we can't do field trips as much or play dates with friends. So I feel like this year would be a good time to try it out. So I'm going to take the Christmas break to consider it. And what I would like from you all is your feedback if you have used the Sabbath week method and what what tips and things you would share with me because I do still want to have a summer break. I want my kids to be able to play with the local kids uh, in our neighborhood when they're on summer break and so I don't want to go full year round. But I have seen some schedule options out there where you can do the Sabbath week method but still have a bigger break at Christmas and over the summer and I'm kind of interested in that. So 
Let me know down below if you have tried this schedule in your home and you're still able to have those bigger breaks. And also just, you know, some things that I might want to consider, things you didn't know before switching from traditional to the Sabbath week method that maybe you wish you would have known. I would love to hear that feedback from you all down below. And if you uh, have a good resource, like a good planning resource, you can leave that down below as well for me and for others who might go down there uh, to find some tips and tricks. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I'm sorry it wasn't so much information as kind of asking for your information and your input, but we're a community, we help each other out, and I love helping you all, and I love getting help from you as well. So I hope you will take the time to comment if you have any experience with this, and I look forward to reading it. And with that, I will catch you in the next video.